done. Jackal has ascertained the location of the opposing forces. They gather as we speak. I'm going to need you in the field tonight. Jackal stands ready and eager as always. I mean, you have come a long way, Spinelli. Not only are you a tech genius, you are my best soldier. You're reliable, fearless. I've never seen anything like you in the field. Won't take it down a notch. The jackal must do what the jackal must do. Men of danger don't cave in the face of nagging wives. <laughs> oh, uh, nagging wives. You think that I wanted this? I told you over and over and over again that I did not want to get married, but you got on your knees and practically begged me. What happened to all that <laughs> romantic fair maximista stuff? Banji from the cover and then throw her off the train. That's all I care. <sighs> Gee, guess I'm not impressed. Well, of course I can do it. I'm editor in chief. Couture is mine. Whatever I say goes. Yeah, well, I've had it with these high maintenance celebrities. I'm Lulu Spencer. I make my own celebrities. Look, I gotta go. Ciao. I'm sorry. I only have a second. I'm off to the spring collection. In, in Paris? Where else? Silly. I'm gonna be gone for a month or so, so I wanted to say goodbye to my BFF and all my adorable little godchildren. Oh, you, you're cute. I'm so jealous, I could scream. Oh, uh, my empty life, why? It's just one pointless fashion show or party after another with the same nauseatingly beautiful people and their oh so predictable hot couture. I mean, what you have here is real. every week, but ever since he lost his mind at your wedding, seeing you is all he really has to look forward to. <laughs> I have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you to put up law. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to remain silent. I 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 have the right to remain silent. Vanelli, I really... I'm sorry, I gotta go. My private jet is waiting. Wait, Lulu, oh, can't you just stay for a little bit longer? I mean, it's been so long since I felt... Relevant. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of stuff. Oh, dear, I know you are. But we'll um, have a nice chat when I get back. But, you know, if I don't leave immediately, I'm going to be more than fashionably late to Carl's kickoff party, and we can't have that now, can we? Wait! The Jackal has made a life-altering decision. Jackal? I've been struck by the proverbial bolt from the blue. It is clear to me, so eye-blindingly clear where my heart and priorities truly lie. First, let me preface by stating without qualification that I wouldn't be the man that I am today without your faith and confidence in me. We have an unbreakable bond forged in, well, stone. The jackal is forever in his master's debt. You, through your teachings, banished my outer wimp and brought out my inner warrior, but I must follow my heart. and accompany the one and only original blonde one to Paris, where our destiny will finally be realized. You're choosing me? Yes, fair little love of my heart. Once we stroll among the glittering glitterati, our love shining brighter than any of their jewels, our names will be joined forever in the paparazzi firmament like those that came before us. Brangelina, Benifer, we will be Jackaloo. Oh, Jackaloo, I love it. Excuse me, you insensitive blonde, what about me? City has long since faded. I'm no longer inspired. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't do this to me. You're oh, my best friend. I'm sorry, Maxie. Maybe you shouldn't have married Spinelli after all. No! Wait! This can't be happening to me! This can't be happening to me! Yay! Rise and shine! <laughs> it's your wedding day. Contradict.
three, but first you need to wake up and then you need to calm down. This coffee might be counterproductive, but we're working with what we've got. Yeah. How come you guys let me sleep in so long? We thought you needed your beauty sleep. And you don't want to walk down the aisle with bags under your eyes? Mm, good point. This could be my last chance to get glam. What do you mean? I saw it. What? My future. In a dream. No, no. We'll just call it out for the nightmare that it was. You know what was waiting for me in my not-so-distant future? Granny panties and sandals with socks. Seriously, are you sick? No, 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 no. But give me a few years when what I have waiting for me at home is squabbling kids and a monster for a husband. Happy wedding day! She'll be fine. Perfect. The most beautiful bride. You already won that title, and please don't cry because I will too, and I just finished my makeup. Okay, but I can't make any promises. Do you think I should have tried to find my mom? I don't know. What do you think? I considered it. I mean, every girl wants her mom around on her wedding day. Is Felicia coming? No, I, uh, I didn't bother. I figured the outcome wouldn't be good either way. I mean, my mom would come and then resentment would just boil over like what happened at Georgie's memorial service and ruin what's supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Or she wouldn't show and resentment would boil over ruining what's supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Besides, the last thing I need to think today is how people could promise to love you forever and then just turn around and walk away.